Hey guys, this is Jim with Cooperative Motor Works and uh, Motorhome Rehab Ranch. And there's a question a lot of people ask me, is a Revcon a GMC? Okay. Well, yeah, maybe no, not really. Yes. <laughs> this is this is a 72 Revcon 250. This is the first series. Revcon started, it was a, a family member of Wally Burnham, Mr. Airstream wanted to get high-tech and wanted to get into motorhomes and Wally wouldn't have a Airstream moniker on a motorhome so he went out and started Refcon and it was supposed to be a high-tech and high-tech because he used the new state-of-the-art Tornado front-wheel drive drivetrain that he bought from Oldsmobile from GM and he built this this motorhome is very similar to an Airstream it's got Olympia rivets it's all aluminum, kind of square, but it's got some round edges and stuff to it. So they were trying to go high tech, right? This, the 250 series has the same 455 Oldsmobile that's in the uh, GMC. It has a uh, drop rear axle with a big fat tire, one single tire on it. Now this was the first series. These are pretty rare. They only made about 12 or 1300 of these things. <coughs> um, the nice thing about this one is you can still buy windshields for the 250 and the drivetrain being identical to a GMC, we can swap all the parts, uh, suspension parts and things like that. And you know, if something happens to the back axle, you can get another drop axle. There were two other series of Airstream, I mean of uh, Revcons. <laughs> um, one was the most noted because right after GM came up with the uh, tandem dual rear wheels, Refcon adopted the same thing but with a spring. But those motorhomes, the parts are not available. Then in 78, of course, General Motors stopped the front wheel drive big block drivetrain. Uh, and Refcon went to a 454 with a 400 transmission and a transfer case, very complicated front wheel drive thing, very hard to work on, and uh, it died. The, the second and third series Revcons are very difficult to get parts for and work on. The 250 series, though, is so much like a GMC that that's why it's here. Because we can do most everything to this, and we, we have done it because we've done it with the GMCs. So that's what this is. And uh, this one, it's got a few little marks, you know, it's been through some wars. Um, but the paint... <coughs> painted very well. You can see it's all streaky, but if you buff it out, kind of like that, it'd be very nice. Um, I'm going to get some of the lower part done, get some hubcaps on it. And this would be a pretty nice uh, pretty nice coach. Uh, it's, it's for sale. And um, if you're looking to be a steward on a real classic motorhome and uh, GMC isn't quite what you want, you may want to look at a Revcon 250. All right, let's go inside this baby. I want to show you a couple of things. Before we go inside though, check this out. This latch is a Bargman latch. This was the first latch that General Motors in 73 tried to use that would not open when they debuted it. <laughs> so they still used them. It was a single, single pin latch. The one we have are a two pin latch. Come on inside. Boy, that's really a sharp looking dash. Somebody's put some autometer gauges in there. Kind of sharp. We put a radio in there. I do really like the 8-track deck there. Actually, that's a shoot, that's a 4 slash 8-track. Oh baby, we need to call the Smithsonian on that. Show you something neat that they have. I got this. And then they have. I can't find the latch thing and all that stuff in there. So they were they were trying to come up with some neat neat. So this still comes. There it goes. Yeah. So you can drive like that. Nice feature of this one also is the owner's manual. 
At least you got something to read. Nice coach, very clean. Nice small cabinets. Now, cabinets are dropping a little bit. I need a little help. That's okay, they're not bad looking though. It's in good shape, good overall shape. It's gonna need some work to be real nice. Maybe you need a notebook. <clears throat> but um, I think you'd be real happy with this. The rear bath has a, bit, a separate bedroom. Look at that, double buddy seat. Good looking upholstery if you don't mind, uh, you know, moths and stuff. Pretty period. Well, I'll tell you, this is a nice machine. Check out this. These people really loved it. This is the kind of motorhome you want to get. It's somebody looking for a new steward. This motorhome has been well kept over the years. It's been loved. So, pretty neat. Look at this. A little privacy. <laughs> All right, well, if you're interested in this, come get it. It's looking for a home.